on. Let me get to the heresy of Perry Stone, Volume 2. This was a YouTube video that somebody sent to me. Um, Perry and Fred Stone recall a visit by the ghost of Al Collins. Now, Perry's dad, um, who was a uh, some kind of Pentecostal preacher, he's going to tell you how God, how, uh, well, I, I got to be careful how I say this, he's going to tell you how his dad was called to preach. He says that a dead friend of his named Al Collins, God sent him back from the dead. And called him to the ministry. Here's what he said. He told me, uh, God, let him speak to me. And he said what? Let him speak. That's when he said, and, and he didn't waste any time, Barry. Yeah, yeah. See, I wanted to ask him questions. What it was like. Al, what was it like to die? Mm -hmm. What was this and that? That's what was on my mind. Right, right. Because we were just good friends. Right. But I wasn't permitted to do that. He looked at me and he put his hand out. And he said, Fred. <laughs> Praise God. God, God, God has sent me. God has sent me to tell you. Excuse me, parents. All right. God has sent me to tell you God. that you're called to preach. Jesus. He's called you to preach. Jesus. And you must, you must preach. You must go and you must preach and you must obey me. Mm. And when he said that. The power of God came on me, Perry, and I couldn't answer him. I couldn't do nothing. I just trembled. Mm. I just shook under the power of God. And he came, But you came back to yourself in that and cabin. He, you know, he left one time. He started to leave. Uh -huh. And then something stopped him and told him he wasn't finished. And he turned around and said it the second time. Said the same thing. Wow. And, um... Uh, that, that, that let me know it was Al Collins there's no spirit yeah. it was the soul of Al Collins it was the soul of Al Collins that called Perry Stone's dad to preach now I've got a mouthful to say and it's all going to come from guess where the scriptures um, take your bible turn to Deuteronomy 13 Deuteronomy, you know what, turn to, yeah, turn to Deuteronomy 13 and then turn to Deuteronomy 18. There's a term for this. Uh, Benny Hinn, Benny Hinn, you remember him? It's interesting that Benny Hinn was called to the ministry the exact same way. Hmm. Benny Hinn was called to the ministry by a dead person. Her name was Catherine Kuhlman. I believe in miracles. Okay. The woman who went to the Pope and said, Hey, Brother Pope, kissed his ring and everything. There's a name for it. Okay? The Greek word nekros. Nekros means dead. Okay? There's a, a, a medical term called necrosis. Okay? Um, it means you have dead flesh. It needs to be cut off or it's going to kill the rest of you. Necros means dead. Necronomicon is a type of witchcraft that is based upon uh, a book of the dead. That's what the Necronomicon is. Necromancy is a type of magic where you are in contact with dead spirits who are performing things through you. Okay? Uh, let me turn this down a little bit so you don't get into echo, 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 echo. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 18. Here's what God said don't do. God, God, now, in, in, in case you, okay, here's Perry Stone, who says, God told me for, to tell you to obey him and give me lots of money, and he will give you stuff. Okay, that's Perry Stone. Perry Stone's dad says, a dead man that I used to know, his soul came back to me from the dead and called me to preach. Okay, that's what, that, that's what the Stone boys will tell you. Here's what. God, here's what Moses said, okay? He said in Deuteronomy 18, verse 10, There should not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that useth divination, 
or an observer of times or an enchanter or a witch or a charmer or a consulter with familiar spirits. I want you to remember that term, familiar spirit. A familiar spirit is a spirit that is familiar. Okay, you're gonna you'll see this in a minute. A familiar spirit, a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. God specifically mentions the act and the match the witchcraft of necromancy, being in contact with the dead, or being in contact or being consulted. Listen to this now, being consulted by a familiar spirit. A familiar spirit. Think about it. Here is Perry Stone's dad who sees an image, a ghost. Okay? And the word ghost, it just simply means spirit. A geist. Okay? It's German. Um, there is, he's seeing a geist, a spirit of somebody who looks like his friend. Dead. Okay? And this friend consults with him and tells him, you're called to the preach, called to the ministry, okay? Um, that's necromancy, and that's being a consulter with familiar spirits. Take your Bible. Catholic priest turns the wafer into, a, in, into God sits it there, and then he bows before it. You see, witchcraft and idolatry, they always go hand in hand. And so, it's very subtle. The devil is very, very subtle. You have to know how to spot it. Let, let me just tell you, let me just tell you what, I could just read this verse again, and you should get it. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. So, and you understand that you, you can be saved by simply just believing God. That's not a work, by the way. That's a, that's a thought. That's a belief. I believe the scriptures. I believe the Bible. I believe Jesus died on the cross for my sins. I believe I'm a sinner and I'm going to hell. And I believe God can save me. See, that's it. That's through faith. Grace through faith. You believe the Bible. Okay? And all of a sudden, you're saved. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. But there are people... Roman Catholicism is full of it. It's full of witchcraft through rituals. Those rituals now are moving in to the churches, the evangelical Protestant, mainline, whatever you want to call them, the Baptist, the Nazarene, the Pentecostal, the Charismatic, the Presbyterian, you name it. This witchcraft is moving in through ritualism. Uh, Perry Stone. Perry Stone, big, big name guy on television. Got this... Manifest TV program. He's the prophecy guy. Gets all of his stuff from the dreams and visions that he operates in. And he said, God told, God told me. He actually wrote a book called The Meal That Heals. Guess what it is? You watch his TV program and you hear him talk about the meal that heals. He actually tells you, now if you will just take communion, take the Eucharist every day, God will heal your body. And God will give you money, and God will bless your life in every way. Your marriage will be better, and you'll have you'll have influence over people. You'll just be in like happy la la land if you will if if you will eat this and drink this every day. I do. I take this every day, and it has healed me. It has done great. That's a ritual. That's a works based salvation. Witches. Witches are all about, they have to, they have to like draw a circle. Don't you remember that? Witches have to draw a circle, and they have to light candles, and they have to face in a certain direction, and they have to do this, and they have to do that. In order for the, the forces, the elements, I'll teach you that in a minute, the elements of witchcraft to work, they have to do that. People like Perry Stone and others.